Now we are going to talk about like uh, someone has created myself as the substitute, but when I go to the SAP inbox, I get all the stuff, his stuff as well as mine stuff. So it becomes very confusing for me. Uh, like, like I have some guidelines that anything that goes comes to me, that because uh, because it is, uh, I am as a substitute of the other person should go should be taken a different action or something like that how you can get how how you can do that so here first of all i'll go to sap inbox okay so if i see here it's, this is my sap inbox and here i can see uh you click on top substitution so this if you see i am already the substitute of student one three so now what I'm going to do, if I click on this, and if you see, I have like 108 items. So I'm now confused. Oh my God, which one is mine and which one is his? So like in SAP, let's be honest, SAP is smart enough that there should be some way you need to identify. Don't just ask an ABAPA to start coding on anything. SAP has created standard fields. So wherever you are stuck, any transaction there would be some fields that is hidden so you, what you could do is you go here and you click on change layout okay and there anything on the left side is the fields that are being shown and anything that's on the right is the one that is being hidden so what you can do is you can click on this substitute for and you can just push it here and what i can do what i'll be doing is i'll just bring it up okay and i'll just go up here and i'll put it here so now you can see these are the ones that are that i'm getting because i'm a substitute now it's very easy now to understand which one is yours and which one is as which one you are acting for someone else now you might say, oh, this, this layout looks pretty nasty because I can't do anything. So there is a way where you can just go to change layout. And I think you can go to views, no, display, and you can say with optimum column width. Okay, so let's make this one. Column this, yes, press enter. Okay, now you see. So sometimes you may say, oh, it was checked. Well, sometimes, you know, like restarting a laptop does a lot of things. Restarting, clicking and clicking on SAP also, it does a lot of things. So here you can see it's much more optimized. The width is optimized. You don't need to scroll around here and all those things. So this way you can find which are the ones is for yours and which are the ones is for the substitute you are acting for. So that's it for the, for this tutorial. How to identify which item is for the substitute and which item is for yours. Um, stay tuned to my channel and please wash your hands and stay home, stay safe, play with your kids, watch Netflix, watch, learn SAP, and try to try to learn new stuff. Please don't go outside and try to be a hero, which you cannot be. Let's be honest. Don't try to be, be smarter than those doctors who are smarter than you, you know. It's like it's just like a college graduate who doesn't know anything about SAP consent says, okay, I will write a code that will change SAP forever, okay? Or they will write something that will change forever. That will never happen because let's be honest. Let's 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 listen to the experts and uh, follow the guidelines. Wash your hands. Try to find antibacterial. Stay with your kids. Stay with your family, and uh, and stay do something fun in the house. Okay, uh, probably you can teach your kids SAP also. Okay, so stay tuned to my channel and happy SAP learning. Thank you and have a great day.